Hi guys, Chris here from Here Ball Gamer and welcome back to season four of Rudy Gutendorf Challenge. If you don't know what Rudy Gutendorf Challenge is, basically we're trying to manage as many clubs as we can. Um, we're aiming for 55 because that's much Rudy Gutendorf, the Guinness Book of Records holder, managed to achieve. We might be struggling. We're on Cup Two, but things are going really, really well. We won the Indian National League last season, and we did play in the Federation Cup, and we won it as well. But I didn't show it because I was absolutely loaded with a cold, had a sore throat, croaky, coughing, and luckily I'd, I'd recorded three episodes ahead. So this is me just getting back into it now. So we played Momadan in the first round, in the quarter final. We beat them 3 0. Um, no repeat of Ade's uh, heroics in the in the last game, the uh, last um, episode you saw. 3 0, and then 3 1. It was comfortable 6 1 in aggregate. And then we went to Mohun Bagan and we won 3 0. And then we, we reversed it in the, in the return, but we were never in any danger. Diara getting the goal, and then Gulam Kerala in the final, we won it 1 0. Well, Guadalajara set off in the last minute, but it was basically a professional foul, and he just was stopping them attacking. So it was a clever move, to be honest. And I always applaud unsportsmanship behaviour. So in terms of the club vision for this uh, season, basically what has to be um, competitive in the Duran Cup, which is going to be difficult. I've noticed that we have only club playing two games in two days. So literally, we're playing today, and we're playing on Saturday as well, which is the next day, so I'm going to have to completely re um, rotate my squad. So we're on course with wage budget, we're doing quite well with wage budget to be honest. It's a challenge for the National League title, should, we should be a problem, we're, we're champions. I did, um, I've nothing about the World Cup, probably because I've forgotten about it, but we won it, so that doesn't really matter. In terms of transfers, because it's such a long off-season, we were kind of straddling both seasons so we start the transfer window in one season and we, we're, we're still in it at the moment there's still a couple of moves that I'm trying to make but one player out Willis Palazia he was the uh, Trinidadian or Trinabogdanian Trinabogdanian is that a, is that even a thing he, he was pretty good actually he looked all right his physicals are, are a mess but in the Indian uh, National League you don't really need a lot of physicals as long as you've got medals and technicals you'll do fairly well and as you can see, he didn't play for us, he played one game, he came off the bench and scored a, well no he didn't, he started the game and he scored a goal and I thought if I made a mistake, but no I hadn't, he played fairly well in that game and then the rest of the players, this was for the end of last season, Stephen Rocha found this guy at Guardian Angel, a lower league club, it's a three star potential, he's pretty good for a 17 year old, he's got determination of 17, he's going to improve. He has a good chance, he can pass, he can take a free kick, he's brave, he's, he's got numbers, you know, he's got double figure numbers, which is always nice for a for an Indian footballer. So I've got high hopes for him. And then the other guy I brought in was Amarjeet Singh. Now this guy was also at a, a club, he was, he was actually released, so I signed him for free. Nobody was interested in him, but look at his physicals, look at his medals. He's got only one sort of technical above 10 but he's Indian he's a central midfielder and he definitely is he can sit right in front of Diara because Diara's going to give him protection and he can just pass the ball <laughs> and basically he's instructions he's going to pass the ball he's got 22 caps for India so I do not know why nobody took a chance of this guy in, in Indian terms he's pretty good so you know well he improves 20 he might improve a little bit you know I don't expect double figures and many more of the technicals but He's got, he's got a chance in the game. And he's definitely improving what we've got. The problem we have is trying to get players that are Indian players because the Indian players are quite expensive. We didn't have a transfer budget, £10,000. So for the this season, so far, um, six players out. Kinbad Rudas, he's out. Didn't really want to lose him that much, but he didn't want to sign a contract, so he's away. Oaken, he's not got a club yet. No, he's got Dempo, just because he's yellow, eh, blue and weird blue. Oaken Malenti, he's another player I was thinking about keeping, but, you know, we can do better. Or I thought we could do better. Marcel Sacramento, we knew he was away. He's away to Brazilian third division. He played fairly well for us. He's, eh, uh, 
he's not playing well for his new club. He actually, yeah, he's been pretty appalling for him. And then Uchi Oguchi, 100% scout summary for him. He is a very good player. I'd love to keep the hold of him, but he got off a contract and we're offering three point three grand, so three thousand three hundred pounds and he's played absolutely shocking. You know, he's been storming for us last season when he did play with six games for us. I remember it was only what eighteen games in the Indian season, so <laughs> he, he played quite a bit when he came back. And then Mintus Mendes from Real Kiss uh, when he went away, he was he'd always signed a contract with them. Pretty much it'd be already arranged, so nothing you could do about him. 18 year old Indian, he's got great physicals. That would be the reason I kept him. 41% in the scout summary, so I don't know how reliable my scouts are, to be honest. <laughs> and Keen Lewis, every time he played, he was just appalling. He never got a rating that high. Don't, I can't believe it's 6.68. He, he's awful. He got fives every time he played for me. Put near enough all the games, though. <laughs> I didn't have anybody else. He was away. I'm glad to see him back at him because he was just awful. Three players in. There was a load of release players as well. Shadow and Roy. He was our um, backup goalkeeper. Then I realised we needed three goalkeepers in the squad. So that was a bit of a emergency. And I kept him. Or I would have kept him and I kept Gopit. Thing. Chinedita went. Not a great miss. Gopit Singh. And I kept this guy if I realised. He wasn't great last season, but he's a pretty decent in Indian terms. Salabaz Khan, I can't even remember him being in the, in the squad, to be honest. He played six times for me, so maybe doing him a disservice. He does have decent mark and decent tackle, so I don't know why I made the decision to get rid of him. Samantha, he was another goalkeeper. Again, never realised he needed three goalkeepers, so it was a scramble to get a Another goalkeeper in. Kodang. He was just not a very good midfield option. Well, saying that, when you look at him, there's not much difference between him and the guy that's played 22 times for India. And, well, he never is. There's a lot of ones there. Uh, Daz. Another player not that great. Jared Williams. I was hoping this guy was going to stay. I actually thought he had another year on his contract. I'd already marked a foreign place out for him. But when he came back on loan, he left. He went to another club and he's retired now, so I don't know why that is. And then Napa one more jang, I'd, I'd love to tell you more about him, but I do not know who he is. <laughs> did he actually play for us? He said he did, but I don't think he did. Only the three players to tell you about coming in this season. Sabrina Paul, Indian legend, 70 caps. This guy came available and I had, to, I had to snap him up. He's not got great physicals there on the wane, but, you know, he's a solid goalkeeper in Indian terms. I don't think the physicals will matter much. 70 cats for India. He is the Indian number one goalkeeper. So it was a no-brainer, especially when you see the guy that I'm bringing in in December. And then Al, Al Kazan, this guy came up and look at him. The Churchill Bros had him. They were playing in the war division <coughs> and he came up and the reason I've signed him, he, well you look at him, he's, he's absolutely fantastic but if you look at his information, you know, Neil Winger, he's only got, yeah if you look at his information here, he's only got something like 30 days to become Indian nationality eligible for India so I'd be interested to see what happens because it'd be great if you could get Indian nationality and then you wouldn't count to being a foreign player, which would be absolutely fantastic. So that is my thought about it. He's going to be a winger. He can play wing, attack in midfield. So if we actually want to move one of the midfielders up a little bit forward, we can do that. And then the last guy, this is a, don't get too excited. This guy's my second, uh, third choice goalkeeper, or my, maybe even my fourth choice goalkeeper because the young lad, it's in squad, he's going to take that place, probably third choice. And the fans will go and medal because we signed him, but he's costing us nothing a week. We've loaned from Dempo, and he isn't costing us a penny for the season. So, absolute brilliant work for me. So, in terms of the squad, I don't have that many different players. So, in terms of squad, 
not that much different from last season. Um, this guy, you'll notice Joan Pablo Generis, he's on trial with us, he can't sign to December. He's a foreign guy who's out of contract, he's Chilean, and he is an absolute beast of a goalkeeper. He's going to be the best goalkeeper in India by a, a country mile, and yeah, he's going to be absolutely fantastic. And the rest of the squads, much as much this, will go through it at the beginning of the league season. Um, not, nobody really stands out, to be honest. I'm just trying to see if there's anybody. This Rahman, he was in the reserves. He's pretty decent. And there's a Asin Chendry. He's another young guy came through the youth system. Look at these physicals, the pace and <laughs> acceleration. He did have five stars, down to four stars, but... Yeah, he, he could he could improve greatly. He's 15, a little bit of first-team football with a determination of 10. That's not bad. He's going to do a job. And I think that's probably everybody. Yushi's coming in because obviously I can play him to December till he goes away. And he's a decent player. He's nothing much, not, not worth wasting a whole um, form play, play. Not worth wasting a whole form player place for, but he's, he's all right. So in terms of the team selection today, we're going for Paul, Chinti, Aldor, Dot, Warhara, Diara, Wakandia, Armjit Singh's getting his debut, Punte, Chedri and Bogdanovic. I'm thinking, of, I'm just spotting up Tete and Bogdanovic because the other one's going to have to play tomorrow. <laughs> so, yeah, everybody's struggling for fitness. I'm going to have to completely rotate the squad, right? So, Super Paul's getting number one. Paulie's can get 31. Lucy Key, he's not going to play much after December. Rocker, he can get seven. And Arjit Singh, um, he's not getting nine. He's a, <laughs> he's a midfielder, so let's hope for the best. I'm not overly confident I didn't arrange any friendlies and then all of a sudden it just pinged up saying oh you're playing the Korka and I'm like what and like three days time so all the friendlies are after this so right, we should be winning this comfortably let's go for it as I say nobody else is playing them um, right nobody else is playing two games in two days so I think it's Completely against us this same um, this competition. You know, to be honest, I think the squad's slightly weaker, and the, and the other Indian teams seem to be better bringing in better form players. So this could be a a real challenge this season to finish in the top two places. Maybe we should have moved on. He's surely offside. Yeah, I was waiting to say he's standing about a mile offside. Look at him, he's away. He's standing. Gotta love him. You know, he's a big lad, isn't he? He is a big man. Namath. Oh, Prisid. Heads it. It's all the top teams that, that qualify for this cup, so to win the treble, it's quite a quite an achievement. But here we go. Chante, Singh. Oh, Taco. But he loses it. Bogdanovic. Punte. Oh, that would have been a great goal, but Dan Danela Bogdanov, the Irishman, scores his first goal of the season. The man that was with me at Cove Rambors. I did try and get Ian Turner in, but we were still looking for a little bit too much money for him. Ian Leonard does join us in the summer, on the, in, the, in December, but Leonard he's good enough now, if you know what I mean, and he's, he's probably just looking at him, Bogdanovic left him, left him standing, there's Chentry, young Indian, can he score? No, he can't. I've got high hopes for him. Ruby Youth Academy. Punte's played a good game, Bogdanov's played a good game, and Al Hussein's Aldor, eh, I, I can't even speak English at the moment, <laughs> Hussein Aldor, I 
has been booked. Hand over to. Don't think the job's done. Right, go for it. These are our biggest rivals. Nikoka. Nekrosa. Nekrosa. Sounds like. Well, he's only offside again. Oh. This might be the problem having a, a high line with a goalkeeper a piece or two, but he's only got to be here till. Demand more. Oh, penalty! Who's going to take the penalty? That's the big thing. McDonough, is it? No, it's Dot. It's the big, the big centre back. Oh, and he's he takes all penalties. He is so. I don't think he's missed a penalty yet, touch wood. He takes penalties and he gives penalties away. That's it. He is. Sajit Dot. I just can't believe this boy's not in the Indian national team. There we go. Oh, outdoor! With the goal. And it's highly important we get off to win and start here because we've got a game tomorrow. And I don't think it'll be as strong a team that goes out. Here we go. Dot. Over to Punte. He's a great player, Punte and Chentry. Oh, he's so close. Oh, he's got us in. VAR, come on! <laughs> I don't have not got to win the Indian National League just yet, which isn't the strongest team in eh, the league in India. Oh, what a tackle by Warita. Oh, thing with a goal. Don't want to make too many tactical changes because obviously we've got to. Um, oh, that's a great tackle, but he just didn't win the ball. Because obviously we've got a game tomorrow, so. I don't want to bring on subs and then be tired. I might have to. You're only allowed three foreign players in this competition as well, which is a, which is a problem. Let's demand a little bit more. I don't think I've got a lot on the bench, to be honest. Singh's struggling. But he's not going to be playing tomorrow. Um, now let's just go for it just now and hope he doesn't get injured. Keep going guys, we do not want to draw this. Five, let's make a sub just to waste some time, Chedry's coming off our rabbit. I do think that Chedry chance was in to be honest. Um, El Caranda. Do we have anybody on the bench that can play? Right, let's just leave him just now. Confirm. And then, oh, it's Singh with the corner. Oh, and there we are, Dot with a goal, and it's done. The talisman. Singh, what a corner. Bang. Dot with the goal. And I, I'm Dot's fast becoming one of my favourite players. Oh, Diara. Defensive midfielder. Oh, that's off, 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 off. Bye bye, Prasad. And there we go. Fantastic win. Good win, well done. They gave us a lot of hard time last um, last season, so it's great to get a start off with a win. East Bengal won, they're going to be our biggest rivals I think, but we've got a couple of days in between the Punjab game and the Bengal game, so what to do is we'll move on to tomorrow. So here we are a day later, I don't know if this is a bug or something or, or something, but yeah, <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. I've had to completely rotate the squad in the hope that Ravara Punjab haven't, so... As you can see, most of my youth players and stuff are playing. Uh, Akulu and Goals, who's not that very, that very poor goalkeeper. I was going to make Paul play a second game. 
but he played absolutely appalling that last game. Wigan Bam, who played completely out of position at right back. Yushi, Rahman, the young game. Centre back, Jadap, who is a guy I've just called up from the Youth Academy. He's not very good. He's <laughs> not, not even got a, a normal star. Uh, Robinson Singh, Rocha, Al Hassan, Chedri, Tete, and Rabin. There's Chedri, he's pretty good, but Shadam, let's have a look at his profile here. Yeah, look at that, he, he is a pawn. <laughs> Rahman's not that great either. So, yeah, let's let's go for it and hope for the best. It's probably hand in. Uh, what are we going to say? Yeah, for all we get low down numbers, because I'm not probably going to. Sad, complete. I'm going to give him a decent number, actually. There's nothing. Uh, 17, there we go. I'm hoping for a big one from Hussan because he is uh, the star man. And we haven't seen him yet. To talk. Have fun. <laughs> this is not going to be fun. Um, right, let's go. I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, see if you Oh, Al Hussan. <laughs> The man who I said was going to hold this together has just been injured. After 39 seconds, 36 seconds. Well, Chase is going to have to play out of position. He was, he was 99% fit as well. Hopefully it's not too serious. There we go, he, the Chinese player. This is a big, big moment for Akui. Sink to sheet. This could be a absolute hammering today, especially since our best players just went off. Ooh, off the post, stop, wagging back. What does it say? Oh, it's not going to let me see it. Shadab Rabi. There will be so many injuries in this game. Negi. He's away. What a save. Rahman. I was hoping to do the treble, but... All the players that were out of the last game are injured. <laughs> so I thought about this, this thing for rest and it's not worked. We're the top. Negi. <sighs> Shouts to add more. Aguli. We go kick to Rabi. Rocha. Still got Teddy up front, so he's the bright spark. Oh, Teddy scores. I'm quite nervous about this game because we are not a good side. I'm hoping that it's not a serious injury for Hussan. Teddy controls it beautifully. What a goal. <laughs> I am. He's 82%. We'll keep him on at half time. I don't want to. You bring in anybody else in? Shouts, let's demand more again, because that worked the last time. They're really struggling with fitness. Hopefully our superior fitness will show through. Oh, Shadab, what a... Wakey, wakey, Tete. I forget it's the same for them as us. Oh, Nicky, that is. Oh, I'm going to have to move this microphone arm because I keep hitting it. I've got it going against me. I shouldn't really have it against me. It was just my computer's a bit noisy and I have to play a bit with the noise settings when I'm editing. So, there we go. Nicky with a with goal. That's frustrating. Or Chanta. 
harder all the way back <laughs> maybe any players want to run for it no oh, too late mate oh what a save by a coolie straight away Rabi get it to Teddy this is the tactics get it to Teddy Shouts the man more. Chedry's struggling as well now, so. This is ridiculous. Better to just keep going. <coughs> Robbie, shut up. Kentry, oh, get me a sing. Robinson sing. Oh, dangerous pass. This guy's going to go past everybody. And Akui with a save. Straight, oh, good distribution straight away to Tete. Probably well, Tete is, the rest of his team aren't as good as him. It's the youth players and the reserves. Oh, that was vicious. What's wrong with him? Potential knee injury, that could be pretty serious. Let's make a sub. 63 minutes. Bring DR on. For Jedry. And his movies do. Over. Shut up. Quite a bit of Shadab, so I'm not overly. Oh, Rabi. He's got free finishing, so I'm not overly. <laughs> press. If we could get a draw from this, I'd be over the moon. <coughs> this gently needs to come off. So here comes Punte. It's a shame we've had to. Double substitute player. Shouts, shows some passion. We're fired up by that. But they got players that are 48%. To be fair, this is a good draw. Rabi. Oh, why did I say that? This is going to be their attack. Oh, Wagon Bam, what have you done? Oh, and Akui makes up for Wagon Bam's mistake. She had an interesting debut for him. That's a free kick. She taking it. He probably doesn't trust anybody else to take it. Rocker with a mistake. Fernandez, oh, that's a good, good block. We can sneak away if we can sneak a, sneak a draw here and beat over the moon Diara. But again, the course here. And we're blowing the whistle because we've had a extra minute. I'm hoping it's not bad for Hussan. Team talk. I'm far from pleased. I think I think it's a good result to be honest. We'll, we'll not. We'll just move on from there. And let's have a look at the, the group A. Hussan. Hopefully, it's not bad. Sixty-eight weeks. Well, he's out of this cup anyway, but he'll be fine for the season. So I'm happy with that. Says Hassan made the debut 38 seconds he was on. <laughs> Fantastic. Doesn't even say that. He just says he had a round of applause for the 38 seconds he was on. Chenpe. Eight days, that's not bad. Uh, at least the physio. We should be fine now if we get past the second round. I don't think we're going to now. Grand Cup Group A. We've got four points. Even if East Bengal win the next game, we give them six. If we beat East Bengal, we can still go through. So that's what we're going to aim for. Okay. What will happen is I'll come back next, either for the cup final or the first game of the season. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.